Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be going over the CoinMarketCap application and just giving you a brief overview and tutorial of how to use it. Let's dive in. All right, so first things first, when you have CoinMarketCap downloaded, the first thing I would recommend to do is click on the top right. Here you can sign in to your account. This would be needed to create a lot of things such as watch lists, uh, engage with the community, various different things with your portfolio. It's really ultimately just highly recommended to create an account and it's completely free to do. Also, once we're here, I'm just gonna toggle on dark mode because that's personally what I like. Now here, we're just gonna go over the main page. So here we're gonna see the top 500 assets, but we can actually rank by a couple of different other ways. Like for example, if we just wanna see the top 100, we can do that and just sort by that number. And then we can also see the 24 hour percentage. So this would be the price change that you're gonna be seeing on the right side of the screen. So you'll see those little price charts that's based off of this number right here. So in this case, let's just say if I wanted to make it by one hour change percent, that would be that ranking right there. Now, in the case of this, I'm just gonna make it the past seven days. If I wanted to sort by the highest gainers in the past seven days, then all I would ultimately do is just click on seven days. And then from here, I would just see the top seven day percentage gainers in the top 100 when we're taking a look at the market cap with the rankings per CMC. Now, if I wanted to do it by the 500, I could just click on that. And then again, these are the top assets in the past seven days when it comes to the biggest percentage gainers. Now, if I also just wanted to reset back to how it looked before, then from here, I would just click on market cap and it would sort by the highest ranking market cap. And from there, that would be the standard default view that you're used to seeing. So let's go over the top of the screen. We can see the market cap volume and dominance. If we actually click on this, we'll be going over to that page. And from here, we can just get a brief overview of ultimately how the market is looking at a glance. So you'll see gas fees, open interest rates. You'll see you know the market cap of the entire crypto cryptocurrency space and you'll also see for example the bitcoin halving and when that is going to occur now going to the right of the overview page we can see the exchanges so here we can see the top spot exchanges and also get their scores and ultimately look at their volume by you know how much capital is flowing in between these exchanges in the past 24 hours and we can also go to derivatives and then if we wanted to see decentralized exchanges we can just click on dex and then from here we will see from the top down from the top 24 hours with trading volume for the top exchanges and we can just scroll through and look at those there also to the right of that we can see the chains so we can see the top chains and ultimately their tvl in the past 24 hours and the ranking there so we can see ethereum tron bsc etc and to the right of chains we can see categories so this can be such as just generalized categories to also just crypto narratives in the space so here we can see the top trending categories such as solana ecosystem memes gaming ai and big data if we just scroll a little bit further we can see some of the other category names such as base ecosystem telegram bot memes data availability, optimism ecosystem, generative AI, etc. There's a whole lot of ecosystems to explore. And with these, you can also see their market caps as well. So you can see and rank by the top market caps of these different sectors. And then you can also rank by the average price. And from here, you can see and just click on the average price percentage gain and rank by that way. Or you can also rank by losers if you wanted to see that and see the top losers for that. Now, moving down from the bottom, we're going to click on news. So that was markets. We're going over to news here. We can just see the top news, and this is just aggregated across uh, various different news sources. And along with this, it's also ranked by the newest article as well in the space. So if we wanted to see some of the top news posts that were recently posted, we can just scroll and explore those here further. Now, moving along, we can also see some of the videos by yours truly and also just the rest of the CMC team. Then to the right of that, we can see the popular coins. So here we can see the top gainers, top losers, and just trending and recently added projects in the space. So this is also pretty cool if you just want to see like what's hot in the space right now and just get a glimpse of what's going on. You can do that right here. So we can see dog with hat. We can see as the top gainer as of right now below that we can see render and fetch AI and then top losers. 
here we can just get a ranking by some of the you know, just obviously top losers in the space, right? <laughs> the name says it all, as they say. And then to the right of that, we can see trending. So these are just trending projects and we can also get a glimpse of their price action. And then to the right of that, you can see the recently added to CMC as well. Now at any time, we can also just click on the bottom search icon and just search any project that we want to. All right, so moving along, we can see the portfolio tab, which is something I'll get into in a minute and we'll spend a decent amount of time on. And next, we're also gonna be talking about watch lists. But the first thing before that is I wanted to talk about community. So here you can just see some of the top posts in the community, see uh, what's trending in the past 24 hours, get just an overall glimpse at what people are talking about in the space. And at any point, if you wanted to, for example, follow anyone, you can just click on their page and then you can give them a follow if you wanted to. And you can stay up to date with various different uh, people who are posting in the space. Now, moving along, we can also just see who I'm following, look at different topics. We can see some of also the coin market cap lives as well, which is something I highly recommend engaging with to get the latest alpha in the space. Moving along, we can also just see some different articles as well. And if we wanted to at any time, we can just make a comment as well. So for example, hashtag let's let's say hashtag bitcoin are you bullish question mark and then i'll make a post a poll yes no and then if you make it hashtag right before then then it will be searchable through just for example bitcoin and seeing the community on the bitcoin page so if i wanted to post that i could post that right there and then the community could pick if they are bullish or not and also just comment on the post as well so it's just a fun way to engage and interact with the community and connect all right now going back to the main page let's talk about watch lists and then let's talk about the portfolio which are really cool features of core market cap now we can just take our finger and slide it over from, for example, a specific asset. And when we do that, we can add or remove an asset to our watch list. So here I'm just gonna click on the star icon and then Bitcoin is now going to be added to my main watch list. How do you find your watch list? It's just right over, right next to the coins, you'll see watch list. Here you can see your different watch list if you just click on your list. And for the sake of this, I'm just going to create a new watch list. So I'm just gonna write, my awesome coins and then i'm just going to create a watch list i can also make it public and share it with friends as well if i wanted to share a link and then from here i'm just going to click on my awesome coins and then click on the three dots to the right of the plus icon and then i'm just going to set this to my main watch list now i can also add a bunch of projects easily by just clicking on the plus icon and then from here if i want to just add all these different assets here avex dot tron link matic for example uniswap ton and i also wanted to search coins i could do that there and then just easily add those to my watch list, which is super easy to do. Now, let's just hypothetically say I wanted to add a transaction and have that in my portfolio, right? Now, for example, it would depend on the specific asset, obviously. So let's just say, for example, Bitcoin, I wanted to track you know, a transaction that I made. All I would have to do is click on the portfolio in the bottom corner, and then I would just click on add transaction manually. And from here, I'll just click on, I'll just make this main portfolio and then I'm just gonna create portfolio. Now all I would do is click on all portfolios and then I'm just gonna click on main portfolio down here and then I can add a transaction. So for example, let's just hypothetically say it was that of Bitcoin and I click on this and let's just say I bought 0.1 Bitcoin and I did that, let's just hypothetically say in 2023 on, let's just say, and let's say December, okay, December, here we'll put December 1st. And then from there, it'll automatically update to the price of the coin that day. And it was 0.1, so I'm just gonna put that in right here. And then I'm just gonna click on add transaction. So now I can see the overall chart of how the price is looking. I can also look at the all time profit. I can look at the allocation in my portfolio. Let's just say I wanted to add a new transaction with another project. Let's just say Ethereum. I bought, let's just hypothetically say five ETH and I did that back in, let's just say 2024 on January 1st. And I'll just click on add transaction. 
Now you'll see my portfolio and you'll see it in just a easy to view pie chart for the allocation. You'll see all time profits for each of the assets that are ranked here. And we can also just see the holdings there. So it's a really awesome feature to track what you're holding and also how much profit you've incurred on those specific assets, right? So ultimately it's a great feature to check out on the coin market cap application. So anyways, guys, my name is Trevor here with CMC. If you guys like this tutorial, let us know in the comments down below. Also, if you want to request any other features or tutorials based on the website or application, let us know in the comments down below and we will address that. So anyways, guys, we'll see you in the next one.